friends at home, in this video I will be doing today's math lesson with you. Yesterday we took our math test and so today we are beginning a new math chapter. We are beginning chapter 10, so we are doing the first lesson, lesson 10-1. is on page 377. The words that we will be focusing on today are tally chart, tally mark, and data. And we are going to talk about reading tally charts. So it says here that Sadie writes her friend's favorite colors in a tally chart. How many more friends choose blue than choose green? So this, boys and girls, is a tally chart. And each tally mark is a little line that looks like this, and it represents one. When you get to five tally marks, who knows what we do? Sage? You cross it over, and I, I told the kids here in the classroom earlier today that you can do it straight across, one, two, three, four, you can do it on an angle, some people angle it this way. As long as every time you get to five, you cross through, I'll accept it, okay? So anytime you see those four lines with a line through it, that stands for five lines. And we do that because as we get into more and more and more tallies, it becomes much easier to count by fives than having to count every single line by one, okay? So each time we get to this, we see that stands for five tallies. And the line across represents that fifth tally mark. It says, to find how many more friends chose blue, we need to read the data in the tally chart and then subtract. Data, boys and girls, is a fancy word we use in math and science, and data is a word that basically means information. When I asked earlier today, who wants chocolate milk, who wants white milk, who wants water, I was collecting information. I was collecting data, okay? Anytime you gather information, that information is called data. So on this chart, Sadie asked her friends, Go ahead, Serafina. Sadie asked her friends what their favorite colors were. All of the answers to those questions, that is her data. Okay? Mask up. Okay? We'll wiggle our teeth later. So here, how many friends liked blue? Well, she drew five, six, seven tallies, so she put her total was seven. How many friends liked green? There were five, so she put a five. How many friends liked red? One, two, three, so she put a three. So it says, seven friends chose blue and five friends chose green. So if we want to know how many more friends chose blue than green, we have to subtract blue minus green, and that will tell us the difference. So seven take away five is two, so two more friends chose blue than green. Okay? So now, looking at the chart above, how many friends liked red the most, Camila? How many friends liked red the most? Three. three. So go ahead. In that practice problem, trace the number three. There are three friends who like red the most. And then turn your page. On the top of this page, we're looking at this tally chart that shows us Ryan's stickers. Okay? So Ryan has some stickers, and he tallies to see how many he has. Now it says, how many moon and sun stickers does Ryan have in all? So to set up this equation, on the first line, we'll put how many moon stickers he has. On the second line, we'll put how many sun stickers he has. And then on the other side of the equal sign, we will add up how many he has all together. So Beckett, looking at this tally chart, can you tell us how many moon stickers does he have? Four. So for our first digit, we're going to put a four. That's the first part of our addition equation. Now, Johnny, it also wants to know how many sun stickers he has. So can you look at the chart and tell me how many sun stickers he has? Nine. So for our second add-in, or our second part, put the number nine. Now, to figure out our sum, or our total, we have to add up four plus nine. Who can tell me 4 plus 9? Well, there's a few ways I could do that. I could count up. I could say 9 and then count 4 more, 10, 11, 12, 13. I could say 10 plus 4 is 14. Or Sorry, 10 plus 4 is 14, so 1 less would be 9 plus 4 would be 13. So, Connor, what did you get for that answer? 
4 plus 9 equals 13. So Ryan has 13 moon and sun stickers. Wonderful. All right, let's go to the problem solving problem now. We're looking at the favorite drinks chart. This is kind of like what we did this morning. It says, Mr. Jones writes his students' favorite drinks in a tally chart. Which drink do students choose the most, and how do you know? So looking at the tally chart, Isaac, which drink did the most students choose? Milk. Milk. And how do you know? Because it has eight tally marks. Because it has the most tally marks, right? So right here, the most students chose milk. M-I-L-K. How do you know? It has the most tallies, tally marks, okay? All right, why is using tally marks a good way to show how many? Drew? Um, if you want to draw a line and you don't draw, draw the cross, you should make no. But why is it a good idea? If I'm trying to count up information, why is it a good idea to use tally marks? Johnny? Because it's easier to count on five. Yeah, so it's easy for me to group things into five. So if I'm trying to count up real fast, I can just go boop, 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 boop. It's a real fast way of taking a count, right? Awesome. Let's go to the top of the next page. We're going to use this chart to answer these questions, okay? So it's the same chart we were looking at on the first page. It says, how many friends chose blue? So, Dominic, look at that tally chart and tell me how many friends chose blue. Seven. seven friends. So right there on that line, everyone, write seven. Brooklyn, you need to write it too, okay? I need your mask on and I need you paying attention. Sage, it says, how many more friends chose green than red? So I've got... Green is five and red is three. How many more chose green? Two more because five take away three equals two. So your answer for this line is two. And Lillian, how many friends in all picked red or blue? Close, we have seven and three more. So we go seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten friends in all. And the equation for that would be seven plus three equals ten. All right, let's look at page 380. We're looking at the sports balls tally chart. It says Beth writes the number of sports balls in a tally chart. Use the tally chart to answer the question. So, Brooklyn, how many more tennis balls are there than basketballs? Well, first we have to know how many tennis balls do we have, Brooklyn? Brooklyn, how many tennis balls are there? Eight tennis balls. And, Brooklyn, how many basketballs are there? So, if I have eight and I take away three, what's the difference? Go like this. Watch, Brooklyn. Don't, don't, don't overthink it, okay? You're at three. You got to count up to eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. How many is that, Brooklyn? Five. Five. So eight minus three equals five. So there are five more tennis balls than basketballs. Nice work. Okay, down at the problem solving. Um, Amelia, it says, Miss Smith writes her students' favorite days. In a tally chart, which day do most students like? And how do you know, Emilio? Saturday because it has nine. Exactly. Saturday because it has the most, right? It has the biggest number, so it's the most. That's the one they like the most. It says, explain what each tally mark shows. What does each tally mark show in a tally chart? Beckett? A number, each one represents one vote, right? And one line. Each line is one vote. Good job. 
All right, friends, that is a super simple lesson. Tomorrow we will be making tally charts. So now that we understand how to look at and analyze and read the data in a tally chart, tomorrow we'll work on making them. Okay? Bye, friends at home.